everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Gamma, a hollow star, hollow star JP in this case, has left. Terminated, left, they terminated the contract, so it's been terminated. We would like to express our sincere gratitude for your continued support of Hololive Production. We regret to announce that as of July 17th, 2024, we have terminated our virtual YouTuber master agreement with Hisaki Gama uh, of Holostars. As a result, the discussion between Hisaki Gama and management, we have determined that it has become difficult to continue managing and supporting him, and with agreement from the talent, we decided termination of the contract with him. To all our fans and partners, we deeply appreciate all of the great support you have provided throughout the activities that Hizaki Gama has engaged in since debut of March 22nd, March of 2022. Uh, we will be closing uh, Hizaki Gama's YouTube channel and membership by the end of August. We hope your, your continued support and patronage of the talents of Hot Life Production as well as our company. Now, no specific reason yet is given for the termination. Might be some kind of contract dispute. The only point of note is difficult to continue managing and supporting. Presumably creative differences or an argument kind of like the whole Vesper thing possibly that happened before. Uh, Vesper and Magni, I believe, had the same issues. Some sort of led, led to a breakdown. A uh, message from Ga Gamma's Twitter via Google Timeline, uh, a translation. Regarding the contract cancellation, I would like to apologize for causing inconvenience and anxiety to all the Holostars members, fans, and management of Hololive Productions who have supported me up until now due to my lack of self-control. I would like to inform you that consulting with management, I received permission to post this document. To all Gamma assistants, <clears throat> The two and a half years I worked there was truly a dreamlike time. And the time I spent with all my assistants was happy and irreplaceable time. I worked hard every day to achieve the goals we talked about with everyone, putting all my heart and soul into activities so that I would have no regrets. And I am truly sorry that we had to part ways like this. Supporting me uh, when I was clumsy, I love you all from now on and always will. Thank you very much for supporting Hisaki Gamma until now. To everyone who has helped me in my activities so far, I am very sorry that we have had to part ways so suddenly. I was able to interact with people who have I have admitted, admired since before my debut. I will never forget the memories I made with you all. Really, thank you. He's Akigama. A grim reminder that we are in July. July has really been a holy crap moment for uh, talents right now. Since he states lack of self-control might have to do with some kind of substance abuse. This is a huge rat, huge rumor unsubstantiated rumor i'm gonna ma name it right there unsubstantiated unless the talent actually says it it's not substance abuse it could just very well be uh, a way the, the lack of self-control quote unquote could be a marker just mentioning you know personality being uh, not fitting with you know sometimes people have wild personalities maybe it didn't fit with the whole ethos of of uh, hollow life we have again the announcement um around termination and uh here we go uh message from gamma we have all this here that we mentioned before. Um, lack of self-discipline. See, it's saying here, the trouble and anxiety caused by my own lack of self-discipline. See, the, the different translation mechanisms can do it in different ways. This did it um, from the Holostar sub. An actual, and then instead of being a literal translation that a lot of machine translations do, this is an actual translation from someone who knows Japanese, is my assumption here. So it says lack of self-discipline. That can mean many things. It could mean streaming schedule, it could mean uh, a little too wacky for the ethos of um, like the, the way that it works inside of, of Hollow Life. It could mean a lot of things. You can't just jump to substance abuse because that's just unfair to the talent. Hisaki Gama is this person here, a male Japanese virtual liver associated with Hollow Stars debuting in the unit Uproar with Yatagami Fuma, uh, Utsugi Uyu, and Minase Ryo. They started on, 20, on the 30th of March in 2022, and they ended recently. They ended last night. Uh, we are in a dark time for VTubers in general. July is being really tough to everybody. And of course, this is their uh, their message here that they had. Here's the one that I had translated for you guys. It says self, you know, lack of self-discipline, lack of, uh, you know, things like that. It was an irreplaceable time. And very importantly, very importantly here, we have this message from Yago. Something that you do not see when it comes to Riku ever. Thank you for all your hard work, Gamakun. Thank you for to all the fans who supported us. Although it is unfortunate, I will keep my heart, I will keep in my heart Gamma's achievements so far. We hope you will continue to support Uproar. Because remember, Hollow Stars has been 
a personal project of Yago for a very long time. Why did he make it a personal project? He wanted to give males the same opportunities he gave the women in Hollow Life. The same opportunities, the same chances, <clears throat> everything. And this is something you don't see from anybody other than Yago right now, from what it seems like. So I do think it was a difference in opinion. I do think it was a difference in maybe creative differences, maybe monetary differences. Maybe they started seeing that they were popular and they wanted a little bit more, which is, which is fair for any VTuber to ask for. But things like this make me think that it was kind of like the Mel situation where they maybe didn't want to let him go. And uh, there were just some things that they couldn't work out in, um, you know, in talks. They couldn't work out in negotiations. And the only option was to let him go. Of course, you cannot have anything happen in Hololife without some kind of criticism on the Nidisanji side. And of course, everyone is free to criticize, but they don't, they, it's like, take, the freaking beam out of your eye before you try to tell me to take the piece of straw out of mine type of thing, you know? Uh, Nidhi Sanji is currently angry because they want, Nidhi sisters are currently angry because they want explanation of why Gamma was terminated despite Gamma said on his goodbye note, lack of self-control or self-discipline. And Yago farewell tweet, still, they don't believe in making story that cover wanted out all graduate and terminated hollow talents, Gamma Mel, Magni, Vesper, Kaoro, and Miyabi. When cover terminating talents because of breaking contracts seems to need the sister is covered as something bad or having a beef with their talents wanted them out. It shows how hypocritical they are when they're calling hollow fans and those who criticize any color delusional and making up a story when something bad happened in hollow life. They also suddenly wake up and started speculating, making up a story to fulfill their secret uh, feelings of hate to hollow life and to hollow fans. And also, this is their way to make a revenge. So yeah, it's pretty much a revenge thing. He says, I'm sorry, but do people not realize that this sugary S is pure PR fluff when he's doing this after terminating somebody? It may be PR fluff, but it's PR fluff that not even Nidhi Sanji does. Let's take it on the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is that this is PR fluff and they terminated him under duress and under bad circumstances. Worst situation, worst, worst circumstances. Still, they still said thank you. They still put out a positive tweet to try to maybe make it so that their, their talent isn't getting mistreated by fans or mistreated by other people out there. And maybe this is a way to calm down speculation. In the worst case scenario, you know, it's to calm down speculation based case scenario. The guy actually cares is what I'm thinking because he's shown that he cares. Other talents have said that he cares. So I think he actually didn't want to see the guy leave. And he says, not to be controversial, but I think the reason there's no grad is because they wanted homie out of there. Considering he had plans, I'm doubting he did. Matches a pattern they have unfortunately set. It sucks because like all criticism for that company, only dedicated fans who remember others will simply move on to whatever wisp of bad 2234 news. Homie and his fans deserve better. Uh, CEO is wishing the employee they fired well. Ew, disgusting, exactly, what the heck? You guys, they're weird. Niji sociopaths are so used to character assassinations and smear campaigns that they are flabbergasted when a CEO does basic PR and thanks someone that they had been let go. They're right, this PR fluff, but the boilerplate language is exactly what a professional business should use in termination notice. Mudslinging and character assassinations, on the other hand, have no place in business setting. They look pretty petty and ungrateful. And even in a hypothetical case where they're factually inaccurate, they will still make potential employees think twice about working for that company. That's the thing. These people are like, Yago is doing a professional way of getting, you know, saying goodbye to somebody. They did it with Mel. They did it with Russia. They did it with all those people that unfortunately they had to let them go. Even though there may have been contracts, NDAs breached and things like that, they still wanted to do it in a professional manner. And of course, continuing here, it says, I'm sorry, but do people realize this sugary ass is PR? What is this flowery words of the guy who terminated? At least need you to say what it is. Yeah, I don't like what Niji does. I'm sorry. I'd rather it be just sugary fluff, at least trying to be professional instead of the, th the, the character assassination that they did with Zion, the character assassination that they did with Selene, all that kind of stuff. I don't like that in any company. I don't like that in the VTuber, um, in the VTuber community to begin with. Sort of follow up to the other post about Gamma's graduation. Started doing some self research on Twitter and I found another tweet where second Nidhi sister is asking on Yago. At least they say what it is, even putting aside the fact that Nidhi Sanji treats their talents like S, almost to the point of being subhumans and brainwashes them into submission. Do these people really have to shill Riku so hard? It's because they their identity is tied to Riku. Their identity is tied to the company of Nidhi Sanji. Hollow Life fans, a lot of us, I'm a Hollow Life fan, um, we don't tie our our personalities to the company. If Yago messes up, 
tomorrow. I'm going to call out Yago for messing up tomorrow. He has messed up in other cases early on in the days. Hollow Life CN. Mel's first time stalking situation that happened years ago. He told me, Chris, uh, uh, Mano Alo, many situations they messed up on. I will rightfully so criticize them on this. But this is not it, buddy. This is not it. This is not one of those times. Fumino Tamaki, or Nora Neko, wasn't invited to Niji, Niji Yanji's few years ago, the, the Niji, um, you know, thing that we're talking about where uh, yesterday Black Sheba wasn't inv invited to the dog and cat days thing that they're doing, the cat and dog days, whatever the heck they call it. Uh, and years ago, uh, Fumino Tamaki wasn't invited either. She did a, a little thing. <laughs> She sang the song. She sang na 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 for a long time. A uh, few days ago, Nisan decided to have a project. Niji Yan, Niji Nyanji, where all sorts of livers sang the Nyan Cat song. This was a a uh, a whole big thing that they had. They didn't invite one of their only freaking actual cat VTubers. It's not the first time they've done it. Probably won't be the last time they do it. I mean, they freaking did it with with uh, Shiba now with some with a dog and cat days where they didn't invite their only freaking dog VTuber, their only actual dog VTuber. I'm still heated about that. I'm sorry. I'm not really a huge fan of the Shiba Inu in uh, in Nidisanji. Can't say I watched them beyond like clips and stuff like that. But still, it annoys me. You had a chance. You had one chance again to redeem yourself, Nidhi Sanji, and you really failed at that. I want to be objective about this, but you can't be objective when you hurt someone else. Like, someone got hurt by this. The the person behind the Black Sheba got hurt by this. The Fumino Tamaki got hurt by this because they feel like they don't matter. They feel like you don't care. They feel like they are... This is how people feel like they're unmarketable outside of Nidhi Sanji because of Nidhi Sanji themselves don't give them any kind of credit, any kind of love. Then who the hell else will? A cat girl VTuber not be able to join another branch event as a cross collab event? Not surprising anymore. Maybe Niji JP has a mountain of skeletons in their company. Every day feeling that Niji EN is the only tip of Riku Tazumi's any color iceberg gets stronger. Definitely a result of EN mess is people taking a look at Niji JP and finding problems that are similar. I was at stream and remember thinking, why did they just? Why didn't they just ask her uh, to be a part of this? It's sad to be a certainly long, arduous protest stream had zero results. Management certainly regretted hiring her and rarely invites her to any official content. She's well loved for a reason, though. She's one of the last survivors of the unhinged and unscripted ethos that made early Nidhi Sanji so loved. So yeah, that's one of those things that ends up happening here, and I don't like it. I'll just be honest with you. I don't like it. This person is wondering, and this is a message that I want to send to each and every one of you, who wants to buy the Petra Gurren uh, hoodie? Things like that. <clears throat> it is unfortunate that a lot of times it is a Nidhi Sanji thing. But here's the thing I always want to say. Yes, I criticize Nidhi Sanji so much. I do. But never, ever, ever let my words discourage you from buying merch that you actually want to buy, from supporting your Oshi if you actually want to support them. I have my qualms about it. I will not do it personally. But I am not the kind of person to tell you guys to, what to do when it comes to these types of things. So I do not want you guys to ever feel that I am telling you, do not buy this Petra Gurren hoodie. If it, you, like this person has been waiting since forever to get it, buy it. You are, if you can see it on eBay uh, from Japan, Mercari, or any other proxy sites is selling it secondhand if you truly don't want to give any cut of your money. That was how I was finding merch of some of the livers before the black screen stream. There's also a chance that more merch may become available on these sites and former fans are purchasing their stuff. Thank you. I'll try this approach first. I don't know how uh, I didn't think about it before posting. Yes, first of all, of course, Look on third-party sites. Look and see if, you know, a fans are selling it, even if it's a little bit inflated. See if fans are selling it. People are trying to get rid of their merch. Mercari, those type of places. Heck, you can even go to Sendico if you are outside of Japan to look at Yahoo auctions in Japan for these types of things if you really want to look for it. You know, those types of things. You can do many things. If all else fails, yes, you can give Niji Sanji money this one time because it is your Oshi. If it is something for your Oshi, it is a very personal thing. I've always said this. An Oshi thing is a very personal thing. A lot of times it helps you. Your Oshi has helped you through psychological issues, through psychologically dark times, through just times when you felt like there was nothing left and they got you out of it. If that is the case, go ahead, buy this, support them. I support you in that. There is apparently a committee formed in Japan that gives so-called bad corporate awards on bad on black companies. Reading some horror stuff in the Yuri Facebook page, I found this black black company. I'm surprised that back in 2012, there's a group of mad lads in Japan who formed a committee of so-called black corporation awards. They gave to black companies despite how nasty JP defamation laws were after a poor employee from a restaurant chain 
called Watami ironic. They definitely did nothing wrong here. Anna lied herself two months after she got hired because of poor working conditions. Some people work themselves to the point where they pass away. Some people unalive themselves. It really, really is unfair that these things happen because black companies work you to the bone. They make you feel unneeded, unwanted, unimportant, all that kind of stuff. As a Japanese, I know a lot of worse companies in Japan. I mean, even Watami is called the white company nowadays. Heck, VTuber-wise, Wachter goes beyond what any color has done in the past. Exactly. So there, if you think there's really bad ones, oh my goodness, you don't even know the, the half of it. Spoilers, there's comment in the link stated that any color should have had this award right here. It's pretty common to find uh, anime and manga take place in workplaces, character more relatable. Black company is a Japanese term referring to exploitative employment practices, hire young employees in large numbers, any color, uh, subjected to extensive overtime without compensation. Working conditions are harsh. You know, that's black companies here. And another example of black companies, any color ink. Uh, doesn't Japan have any logs making this practice illegal, excessive overtime? They don't. They really don't. They're trying to cut down on it, but uh, it's really, it's only if it's reported. Uh, if it's reported by the employee, then yes, they, they work on it. But if it's not reported by the employee and the employee just deals with it because, you know, they, they would get uh, mistreated by their, their coworkers, etc., then that's a problem. You know, that's another thing. But yeah, they had talked about Watami Food Services and they had issues with that. And yeah, uh, there are too many potential nominees with outstanding achievements in this area. Any color won't be able to compete with them. Any color is actually not such a terrible black company. It's one of the the smaller, uh, the the less horrible ones because, as far as I know, no one's unalive themselves, but they have attempted. So that is that's the thing. It's bad. It's not as bad in their in their actions. But remember, uh, Sayu slash Zion. Um, you had I think Michi said that she attempted. I think as well. Uh, also you have Doki who attempted twice. Uh, even though they, no one has actually unalive themselves, attempts are just as bad. Attempts mean that they could have been successful. Attempts mean that still, in my opinion, it is a very black company. Maybe not as bad as like direct, like overtime and like harassment uh, from management and that kind of stuff. In this case, it's a black company because of mismanagement and the way that they, they treat their livers when they leave, uh, you know, but still, it's, it's something to look at. We all love the memes. I love the memes. You love the memes. We all love a little bit of meme culture here. And here is one with Nidhi Sanji, which of course is happening a lot. Uh, calling out their own people who call them out, but never their own fan base. Tweets out, you're not a failure, just a difficult point in time right now. Gets destroyed by her own Filipino fan base, claiming she has reaped what she has sown. Calls out Hiro Hei, claiming it was his fault rather than apologizing to her Filipino fans. And Rosami tweets out a photo of her holding two hash browns from Mickey D's. Gets canceled by angry mob, claiming she's promoting genocide, apologizes to the mob, ends up deleting the tweet as a result. Yeah, that's just really messed up overall. Just really messed up. Then we have uh, Nidhi Sanji using their, Nidhi Sanji higher ups, using their livers as meat shields. What is this about? It is basically the black stream. If they wanted to uh, slander or defame a talent. They could have done it themselves. They've done it before. I don't know why they had to use the livers as meat shields. In my opinion, they were meat shields. So yeah, that's that's what this one is about. And Kudo, who's cooked up something, quite literally. Uh, he's doing Worst Chef V Shoujo. He is, uh, you know, doing his own thing. He's using his IRL face as K9 Kudo. Colleagues at work, so and I think that's a this is, this. yeah. Well, it says I have to use 50 grams of butter, but it, I think that's for the chocolate sauce, not for this. Whatever. So, yeah, he's he's using his face, so I'm not doxing anybody. He's quite literally trying to cook up something, which is very funny and very interesting. Uh, if, he, if he's like me, I can cook stuff when I have instructions. Uh, creative On creative stuff, I can also cook re really weird stuff, like um, egg-battered ramen. I can do that. I can do really weird stuff. It's just I, I I have random ideas sometimes and I pop them in. I had my gripes with Kuro during the past, particularly what happened with Rima. But God, this man does, doesn't fail to make me laugh. He's got the same stupid YouTube poop humor that I grew up with and it's good to see it continue. God, I agree. He's a very good entertainer. Why is he cooking again? At least it's not rice this time. <clears throat> Never let him cook. The man knows how to entertain people and put smiles on their faces. And that's the thing. You can have issues with his personality. That is normal. Your personalities are never going to mesh. <clears throat> A lot of times, personalities will not mesh because that's just the way people are. But you have to understand, this dude is, is a good entertainer. He's actually a good entertainer. The man knows how to entertain people and put smiles on their faces. Who let this man back in the kitchen? This is gold. Yeah, people having fun. It's good. I'm glad. It's a, a former Niji Sanji person that is having fun and doing their own thing. Heck, they even got those little, like, the, 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 the smocks or whatever the heck they're called, the, the uniforms for chefs, for line chefs and stuff. Good news for Mint. She's going to be at MGS or Metal Gear Solid Con this Saturday. She has announced it. If you're at Metal Gear Solid Con next week, 
or attending digitally. You may see a certain ghost mate for a quick Q&A session. Matarakan, yay! It would be so down to buy after AX. I gotta save it for Japan. Uh, would there be a way to drop off any gifts for you? That's effing go. So awesome special guest met MGS VTuber Mint Phantom. A lot of people are happy. They want to throw gifts, at, you know, drop off gifts, and that is something that usually is set up. Although I'm not sure. It seems like it's a, maybe a a short um a short notice type of thing. Uh, or maybe she just forgot to mention it a long time ago. But uh. A lot of times at meet and greets, you do have the opportunity to drop off uh, gifts because they have a handler there that's usually, you know, a, a, a representative that can help you with gifts. Hope she has fun. I can't wait to hear about all the experiences she decides to share. Honestly, it would be cool if she started vlogging these days like like she did with her recent Maid Cafe video. That'd be great. How Snake Otakan Yaoi Dojin will she end up buying there is the question. All of it. That sounds so cool. Hope she has a blast. I thought I attended a Metal Gear Solid Con in the past, but it turned out I just wandered into a warehouse. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Love that. All right. I have to mention this because of the fact that it is something that I reported on back when uh, Sayu lost her bag. When Sayu actually lost her bag, it was a sad moment. It, I, you know, people were thinking, you know, that it was it was stolen, etc. Maybe it was. Maybe it was and everything inside was taken. It doesn't matter. She wanted the bag because I believe the bag was something that held a lot of um, emotional importance to her. It was an item that she's had for a while. It was an item that she got specially, I believe. A uh, huge shout out to the amazing Synchronite who found this and DM me about it. Our community is truly the best. Thank you. Uh, it's like, this is the purse that got stolen. Honestly, amazing. I'm so freaking proud to be part of this community. Remember, you're the one who brought us together. Those amazing people wouldn't be here without you. Never forget that. And that is very good. Shiny Piprip, who's also part of this community. And uh, Sayus Found Sun, who's also part of this community, also mentioned. Synchronite is a lifesaver. I'm glad a Synchronite found your bag. I'm very happy to be a Synchronite. We seriously have one, if not the best communities, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Synchronites, a lot of different communities. The VTuber community overall. We have our bad apples. Of course, it's every single community is going to have a bad apple. But the good apples, like this, far outweigh the bad, in my opinion. That's why I always try to do feel good stories like this, where Sayu found her back, where Sayu has a good moment. This is good for her too, because this, you know, helps cheer her up, helps be like, oh my God, okay, you know, this was a, a sad moment, but I got it back. It's my bag, I got it back. Secret Knight was on a mission and completed it, outstanding, happy it returned, fantastic news. Everything every, looks, looks great. Zippers, latches are intact as well. Yeah, it's in very good shape for like just being stolen. Maybe just, you know, because usually what happens when things are stolen like this, they steal it, take everything out of it, and then just drop it because the bag means nothing to them. What's inside means something to them. Uh, everything looks great. And this is this held a lot of sentimental value to her. So I'm very glad she got it back and in good condition. Glad you got him back. A secret night to find it. We salute you. It was found. They did it. Pretty cute bag. That's pretty coolio of them to do. Also, welcome home. So yeah, that's the main thing I want to put. Good this is why I do things like a showcase. This is why I do things that whenever I can to try to help uh, people in the VTuber community, try to give them a spotlight, try to give them a shout out. When, you know, when I was small, I wish I had the opportunity to get shout outs like that. When I was way smaller than I am, I'm tiny right now still compared to others, but I have a voice. I have a a place to to give people what they deserve. So that's why I try to do that as well. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to another VTuber Showcase. This time it's Tagorn VT on Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. I'm going to show you each one and every one of them. Right here, we have them saying 18 plus, so minors do not it, do not uh, interact. Amethyst Dragon, variety streamer, lewd tuber, VTuber connoisseur of all things shiny, and lewd and comfy dragon himself. They are someone that put out their streamer boundaries that says my content is, according to this, it is jokes may be a little bit on the lewd side. Uh, my chat should be, you know, Jokes may be okay, lewd, uh, chat should be lewd, on my socials I am lewd, uh, she like to be lewd, a little bit more towards the lewd side, and off stream uncomfortable with lewd stuff. They do not like trauma dumping, drama, IRL, and politics, drama drops, phobia drops, none of that kind of stuff. All this thing you can take a look at themselves, and uh, it's the first one that I've seen actually do this, but it's good to, for people to kind of get an idea. Next we have their actual YouTube channel, where they put some of their, either their VODs, or also other little playthroughs they have. They have some edited videos here, a little bit of long, long form plays, and they have some shorts going on through here. Let's take a look at one of their shorts. I mean, it's better than hearing about when my cousins ate Play-Doh. Hey, I ate Play-Doh and it was good. You know what? Suddenly so many things about you have just made sense all of a sudden. Hey, <laughs> I had a life, I had a possible future as a Marine. 
I was eating Play-Doh. Play -Doh. Yeah, Play -Doh. but it worked. It worked. It worked. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Like you're seeing here, it's very interesting things right here. It says uh, they are a farther three, an overall derpy dragon, which enjoys a whole variety of different games. Very casual gamer, not a huge uncompetitive, but willing to do so for charity. So they are a specific streamer that is a father. So that can mean that the schedule may not be so so actually active because of course as you understand being a father will mean that you have a lot of responsibilities besides streaming and things like that so of course respect those boundaries as well and that is all that i wanted to mention right now they're currently playing elden ring with um with someone else you know being there to help them out they're on the very they're right now at the cat at the volcano manor or whatever it's called originally called they're at that area i remember passing that that was a difficult part but once again Thank you for being a part of the VTuber Showcase, Tagorn VT. I will have their socials in the description and in a pinned comment, as I always do. All for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.